This is an excerpt from the Art of Reggae Organ Course 1, Lesson 2. Art of Reggae is an online educational platform offering top-ranking lessons, courses, practice loops, and curated playlists for keyboardists that unlock the mysteries of this profound and transformational musical art form. This course offers seven more lessons that cover just about all aspects of reggae organ playing. In this lesson, we'll focus exclusively on the Hammond organ itself. Even though many keyboardists may not have direct access to one, because of the foundational role the instrument played in developing reggae music, it's essential to take some time understanding it so you can more effectively dial in the right sound and feel on digital keyboards. You'll learn about the harmonic drawbars and the high and low tone bubble sounds and the proper range for the bubble. You'll learn about the Leslie speaker and how to use the organ percussion and then to apply it to a digital keyboard. Please hit like, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit notifications so you know when we drop new material, then head to artofreggae.com and start your seven day free trial. The Hammond organ. This is a unique instrument invented in the USA in the 1930s by inventor Lawrence Hammond. The instrument had the ability to mimic a pipe organ only using modern, at the time, analog technology to generate the harmonic series consisting of a fundamental tone and eight naturally occurring harmonics. It was one of the world's first synthesizers and a lot more portable than a pipe organ. However, due to the nature of the analog electronics involved, the sound it produced was so distinctive, especially when paired with a spinning Leslie speaker, that it carved out its own sonic identity that is, well, completely addictive. It has been used in nearly every kind of Western popular music, from blues to gospel to jazz to rock and funk to the awesomely cheesy sounds you hear at a roller skating rink or baseball stadium. And of course it's had a massive influence on defining the sound of reggae. Because of its analog components, a lot of artifacts are generated. These are sounds that some might call dirty. Key click, leakage, a scratch that is heard when the harmonic drawbars are pulled in and out, the distortion that is generated by the electric components and the vacuum tubes used. But part of the beauty of this incredible instrument exists precisely because of that dirt. Somehow, when all put together, the Hammond organ has soul. These days, modern digital keyboards and plugins have done an amazing job at recreating that dirt with an amazing amount of control. I'll be demonstrating the most important sounds of the Hammond organ on a real one and then comparing the sound with a digital keyboard, since most keysies these days don't have access to a real Hammond organ. And not to mention, they weigh about 350 pounds. In reggae music, the sound that the Hammond organ makes defines the sound of the bubble. Nearly all analog synthesizers, digital keyboards, and plugins that are used for the bubble sound are manipulated to recreate the sound that comes from the Hammond organ. Of course, all of these instruments have an incredibly wide range of sounds, colors, and textures, but there are two specific sounds that have come to define the bubble. I call them the high tone bubble and the low tone bubble. For this lesson, I'm only going to demonstrate the sounds used for the bubble and the chop, which is only a small part of the incredibly powerful range of expression the Hammond is capable of. This set of draw bars controls the upper keyboard, and this set of draw bars controls the lower keyboard. Here's a C chord, no sound, let's use the default draw bar setting. I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit so we can hear the bubble better when we get to it. On the lower keyboard, C chord, but now let's dial in the draw bar setting for the low tone bubble. That setting is to pull out the draw bar third from the left all the way out. Let's check that again. Incredibly important is the range. You don't want to play too much lower than the C below middle C. Let's listen to that again. You 
can mess around with a sonically lowered tone bubble, but you have to be really, really careful not to get in the way of the bass or the kick drum. The high tone bubble. Log on to artofregged.com and get your free seven day trial to see the rest of this video. And in the meantime, please leave a comment because I love to read them.